Hi everybody, welcome to Simply Scuba. In today's video, I'm gonna be taking a closer look at the Boshat Max Lux Evo diving mask. So this is kind of a hybrid semi-frame mask, I guess. It's, um, apart from this kind of yellow detailing on this, it, I'd probably call it a, um, a frameless mask, but because you have this like rigid plastic, I suppose technically it becomes a semi-frame, but mostly it's a, it's a frameless design mask. Um, some decent looks to it, comes in a few different colors as well to kind of match your style, uh, but otherwise, yeah, a good looking, fairly stylish, funky mask. Let's, let's dive a little deeper. So this is how it arrives uh, in a pretty traditional uh, sort of plastic box. Boshat on the top with a blue lid and that just pops off. On the inside you get the mask itself, uh, nothing else in the box. Um, and then you get a pretty traditional uh, sort of paper tag uh, about sort of notices and read through that if you really want to. Uh, and then you get the mask itself uh, with the usual caution. That's usually just don't dive face first into the water whilst wearing the mask. Um, and yeah, that's everything that comes with it. Let's take a closer look at the mask itself. So taking a closer look at the mask itself. So single lens, uh, so plenty of light coming in even over the kind on the top of your nose, tempered glass lens, so it's nice and strong. Um, as, as I said at the beginning, frameless or semi-frame, I guess, because yeah, if it, if it wasn't for this uh, kind of yellow plastic material, the rest around it, the uh, the black sections, this is all silicone. So this is over-molded silicone, which technically I suppose makes it a frameless mask, uh, like the rest of the uh, the Max Lux range. Um, and another one of those features is in that uh, that buckle. The buckle actually attaches onto the silicone skirt instead of onto the frame. So it's free to bend and flex and move around. Um, that way you can have your mask strap wherever you want to and it's nice and comfortable. It has a, a small ratchet adjustment so you can get it to the perfect length. You don't have the big chunky um, uh, sort of notches in that. They're small, so micro adjustments. And then if you lift up on this section of the buckle, you can undo it to lengthen it off. The actual, um, the back side of the strap is pretty conventional, nothing overly fancy. You get those two parallel straps and they just cradle the back of your head so it holds itself in position. On the inside of the mask, that second internal skirt is present that you see on most scuba diving masks. That creates a wide seal all around the face, trapping the air on the inside and keeping the water out. Otherwise, a decent amount of space in there. The nose pocket is a good size. On the front, you actually have some detailing on the nose pocket, which is kind of cool. It's matte and then it has two little ridges. So when you're equalizing, I know it's not really necessary, but it kind of gives you something to grab hold of when you're equalizing your, uh, your ears. Um, and otherwise, yeah, a good looking, decent mask. The build quality to it is pretty good. And yeah, it's got some decent style to it. Um, yeah, I, I'd wear it. And that's the Boshat Max Lux Evo Dive Mask, a, a slight upgrade on the, uh, the previous version, mainly for that kind of flash of colour, uh, sort of running around the rims. But otherwise, yeah, good looking mask, uh, in, in my opinion. And um, yeah, the, the overall build quality is pretty good. The materials feel really nice. Um, the overall sort of field of view is very good whilst you're actually wearing it, comfortable. It seals very readily on my face, even with my moustache. Uh, so yeah good all-rounder mask, I can definitely recommend it. There's gonna be a link down in the description below so you can read up on it on our website, simplyscuba.com and buy it from us. Thank you for watching everybody, and of course, safe diving.